fusion fusion energy and we've talked about energy this is probably more my wheelhouse right like i i think this is yeah. a major threat to america i think this is a if you go throughout history as energy has expanded so has the quality of life right we went from humans to burning wood was more productive right then then coal was more efficient and humanity grew even though coal yeah. had you know it, it had all the pollution and everything but we started growing and then you know it, it's just going to next levels to now we're at a nuclear level and everything yeah. in between humanity we have become richer and if you look at the places in the world that are really poor they don't have access to, to energy yeah well this ai race is going like their growth i mean they're talking about like 100x and things that we need an ungodly amount of energy for that well we talked about on a previous episode china has basic from 20 or 25 years ago they were behind us in energy production now they're basically triple almost exactly three xrs um, they opened up several nuclear reactors this year i think i read the other day Beth, fact check me on this, but I believe it was they have 29 other plants that are under construction currently with more coming and they got more of everything, right? And so anyway, the good news of this, because this is an important, this is really important for us to win, but um, the U.S. Uh, Department of Energy just launched an office of fusion to help push the industry from labs to scale. And the World Economic Forum, I'm not the biggest fan of them, but is now openly talking about fusion hitting national grids in the 2030s.